Hello, my name is Hudson Hansen, and in this 3 d Master tutorial, we are going, going to be looking at setting blueprints in uh, 3 d Studio Max. So first off, uh, you go to your internet browser, type zblueprints.com, and you click on the database right there, and click whatever you want to model. A car, for example, and just find this car you want on to model. And uh, make sure all of these four are checked. It's for front, top, rear, and side view. Uh, for this, tour, I just found this Nissan 180SX. So you're gonna download this. I'm just gonna uh, make a folder on my desktop, call it Nissan 180SX Blueprints, like so, and just save it on. Then you can open your folder on desktop, desktop okay. and there you have it. So, the next thing you're going to do is uh, checking the dimensions of the image, which is 653 by 359, and remember these numbers. So, you go back in Visual Max, in the top view, you enlarge this by clicking Alt-W on your keyboard, and click Plane, uh, Length and Width, we just can set them to 1, by right clicking on this Spider server and open keyboard entry. Okay, so remember this number, sir. The 359 is going to be the length of this one. So 359 and the other was 653. So I just left there 653, like so. And now you can click create, and here I have a plane. Okay, so uh, F3 to see the surface in Max and F4 to see the wireframe around. And you can also click J to move these uh, stupid things right there. Okay, so now you can open your material editor. It's, it's this button right there, or the short case M on the keyboard. Okay, so now you can just simply drag your blueprints in this slot right here. Okay, first off, you can set this source elimination to 100, see it gets a lot brighter, and click on this M and make sure this one is selected. This one allows you to see the texture uh, real time in. Visual Max on the uh, plane. See the difference right there. Okay, so you go back to parents by clicking this one. And we're going to name this blueprint like so. Then you can post the material editor. Um, you might want to check your uh, viewport settings. Customize. Uh, preferences, I think, uh, viewport, and uh, configure driver. Make sure this one are set like this. If not, you just uh, make them so they are like this, and you have to uh, restart the Precision Max. Okay, so once you have this, uh, you can right click. I will probably. Oh, sorry, uh, the editable poly. Convert to editable poly. And you add a UV map modifier. You can find this in this modifier list. Drag it down, and there it is. Okay, so now I can move to the side and make three copies. You can copy this simply by just holding down shift and drag it. And just okay. Just 
same all the time, like so. You can remove the grid by pressing G on the keyboard. Okay, now you can click on one of these. Click on the table pro like right here. And this one show and result on off toggle. So what this does with this with this on you can move like so without the image getting stretched. Uh, if you turn it off, you can see it you can't see what the U map is doing. So it just got messed up. So we're gonna have this on and you want to uh, move this so it fits uh, the blueprints. I'm just going to do it very roughly for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm going to skip the next one I'm doing, so see you in just a second.